Okay, so Battlefield 2042. Um, cool. Look, they uh, put out a tweet, um, you know, giving a little official briefing for 2042. Uh, they talk about season one in this. They talk about changes to the game. They talk about more open communication. There, there's, there's quite a lot to unpack here. Uh, I've read this already, but I'm going back over it for uh, today's video. I'll link the article in the description, so do check it out. I uh, probably wouldn't recommend it, but fucking it's there if you want it. Alright, so this first paragraph says, uh, You've waited patiently to hear from us on what we're doing to address the issues of Battlefield 2042 that you have told us about, and the direction you can expect to see us take in the months ahead. Today we are stating our team's commitment to bring the game up to the highest standards that we all hold for the franchise. Okay, look, look, starting strong, yeah, you, you're tickling the pickle. So we are heavily invested and committed to the future of Battlefield 2042. We've had to make some big decisions to ensure that our next set of updates can be focused on delivering these improvements, with the most substantial one being to move the release date of our first season to... <laughs> to early summer <laughs> <laughs> this decision gives us the time to focus on improving 2042's experience while finalizing the development of our seasonal content to ensure that it all reaches our standard for quality <laughs> as i said the opening paragraph that's what people want to hear right people want to hear this kind of shit they haven't apologized right they haven't come out and said all right we've heard you our game is shit we fucked up we're sorry but uh you know we're gonna do this and this and this like you it doesn't matter what you promise the community in terms of okay this is coming this is gonna be changed this is gonna be updated none of it matters right because at the foundation of of this principle is honesty and they have not apologized they have not admitted to making a dog shit game so anything which they put out is always going to be held back by this this one factor here's a snapshot of the features we are bringing into the game as soon as possible scoreboard okay so we, we knew about this already but let's fucking read this in our next update we'll be adding a refreshed in round scoreboard alongside further changes we've worked on since the holidays this will be an ongoing evolution <laughs> From what was shown in the work in progress we shared recently, we have heard your feedback around including two tables and separating your own team versus the enemy and are working on incorporating that for release. KD scoring and end of round reporting will also be coming in a future update. This is fucking laughable yeah okay cool you've listened all right well done what would you want like your dick sucked like this this shit this is so basic it blows my mind an ongoing evolution why why an evolution why do you need to evolve a scoreboard evolve the rest of the fucking game yeah like live service and all that but but a scoreboard like what and look, this is the other bit that gets me as well um we have heard your feedback around including two tables and separating your own team versus the enemy like this is some brand new fucking revelation you you have literally made every single battlefield game prior to this with a working scoreboard it this isn't the community telling you this stuff this this should be done it's your fucking game platform voice communication the arrival of voip is just the start of the improvements we're bringing to enhance team playing communications wow so uh, next up player profile giving you a better overview of your career on the battlefield and how far you have to go for your next unlock again Mate, go back and play Battlefield 5, you know, like the game that came before this. That's there. And VoIP is there. And, and do you know what else is there? A scoreboard. It's all there. So where's it gone? I don't get it. A refined ping system, like anyone fucking uses that. And an improved reward loop for when you and your squad play the objective. Gunplay will continue to receive feedback based improvements too. Okay, so that's actually like kind of decent. Finally, we have a team analyzing specialists and working on them we're not quite ready to talk about actions we'll be taking but as soon as we are you will hear from us they're not saying they're getting rid of them they're not saying that you know it was a it was a shit idea from its inception and we're sorry and we're going to go back to what you know battlefield players actually fucking want 
uh, no, someone's working on them. But most importantly, they're analysing. So who knows? They they might find out that McKay is actually non-binary as well. You know, like the the infinite possibilities that Dice can come up with. I don't. I I have lost all hope for specialists and that. So we're not going to talk about that. Map design. We want to outline to you our vision for how we're going to approach and factor into our new maps, our new maps enhancements to the gameplay experience. And factor into our new maps enhance. What what does that mean? What does that actually mean? Are they saying that the new maps are going to be better, or that the existing maps are going to have enhancements? Looking ahead to season one, when season one arrives in early summer, <laughs> it will mark the, the start of the year where we'll deliver four seasons, four new specialists, and new locations, along with more completely new content. We know that this release is later than anticipated for many of you who purchased the year one pass. To acknowledge and thank you for your patience and continued support those players will receive an exclusive bundle containing a specialist skin whip weapon weapon and vehicle skins a melee weapon and player card all to be delivered in the next update yeah of course um here's a picture of it to be fair the the mckay skin is actually quite nice i will say that you know that's that's kind of the direction of cosmetics to be honest with you if only that was like just a assault soldier that would be a lot better but you know, you, you can't have these expectations floating around, you know. I don't play Battlefield 2042 anymore, and that's why you have Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 1 gameplay, because it's, it's shit, I don't want to play it, and it actually physically makes me sad. And y you can see, even with the skin that was added recently, you know, the weapon skin, the weekly one, they, uh, they couldn't even give it a proper name. It just had this fucking, like, load of numbers and letters and shit. Like, if, if DICE can't add a, a weapon skin to the game once a week and it not be broken, I have zero fucking faith that they can bring this up to the standard that we all expect. And, and that's just the short and long of it. DICE are just not capable. And I hate to say that, but they're just fucking not. Right, I'm gonna cut it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like on it and uh, catch you on a bit.